I was inspired by uh, a couple of uh, small venue gigs I played recently. And I got to thinking, you know, it would be nice to have a really small drum set, small drum sizes, maybe higher pitches for jazz, I guess. Never was real big on that. But I had all of the ingredients to cobble together a perfect little club kit and still have my beloved four-piece configuration. And here is the result. I took the Ludwig 18-inch delaminated floor tom that I cut down into a bass drum, and I decided to go all in and get wood hoops for it and real spurs. And I got a telescoping riser that is a Gibraltar riser. Real live bass drum heads. Got uh, Evans resonant and batter heads. I think it's a EMAD. And it sounds great. Um, it was expensive. I could have just gone out and bought an 18 inch bass drum. But this one is 10 by 18 and, you know, it's it fits anywhere. This thing is tiny and it sounds great. The toms are from an eight piece set of sonors that uh, I've been using since time immemorial. I got them in 1991 and they have a lot, a lot, a lot of millions and millions of really hard gigs on them. And to the point where the hardware, which is unbelievably overbuilt, sonar hardware, especially from that era, was just ridiculously heavy. But actually got to the point where the hardware was starting to lose its ability to gather itself. So I just decided, eh, you know, I'll get the uh, Ludwigs. And then, of course, the Ludwig saga, unexpected and heartbreaking. So, um... If you're curious about that, I have a video on that. I'll leave a couple of links in the description to related videos I've done on these particular drums. Anyway, so, uh, and the snare is a 5x12 Tama acrylic. Really cool snare, super bright, but I've got it tuned a little on the low side for 12 inch. I just wanted it to sound normal, but be small. Floor Tom, I actually put on legs. I really agonized on that decision because I just wanted to suspend everything, you know, and make it even quicker and easier to set up the same way every time. But I was a little leery about suspending this tom and having it lose its sustain and uh, resonance. And you can't go wrong with a floor tom, especially if you're using these pearl isolation feet. And... It was a good decision on my part. It takes a few extra moments to get it set up, but the sustain on that drum is absolutely hilarious. I'll do a, a sound demonstration for you. The small tom is a nine by 10. That's 11 by 13, if I didn't mention that. Nine by 10, uh, 10 inch diameter, and it too sings like crazy, but that mount kills it a little bit, and you will hear that slightly in uh, in the sound demonstration so i'm go i'm working on a better arrangement a better mounting arrangement that will allow that i tried putting rims on it so don't worry i, I have rims for all of these drums i tried suspending it on rims it still was compromised i tried putting the rims on the bottom so it was resting on the rims same thing um Every once in a while, I'll come up with a magical arrangement. I couldn't, I slid it up and down this L rod. I tried a, a 12 millimeter L rod, 10 millimeter, and it's the same no matter what I do. It's better now, uh, mess with the tuning a little bit, but I'm going to see if I can come up with a solution for that. It doesn't sound bad, it just bugs me that it's not wide open. Everything's mounted to the bass drum. I also have some reservations about that DW Tom mount. It is massive. It weighs eight pounds and it's a real quick and easy setup, but it puts a terrible load, a physical load on the bass drum. It's heavy. That massive bass that this thing slides into, and it, I do have it on backwards, I believe, but the, it just fit better that way. Um, 
it's only got four bolts and four washers on the inside. There is no plate, so eh, I'm not real thrilled with the uh, solidity of the mount. I mean, it's it's solid, but like I said, it's really it's putting the hurt on the bass drum. Flat, you can hear it. Ready for the floor tom? Okay, it's done. That's a dream come true right there for me. And the bass drum. That sounds good. That's playing out of it. That's letting it rebound. Play into it. Much shorter. You recognize that? That's the intro to Squib Cakes. Maybe I'll do a video on that. couple of things I neglected to mention on the bass drum. Um, when I converted it to a proper bass drum, I went out and got a really cheap router, um, <clears throat> just a Harbor Freight router. It was on sale. It was like 90 bucks for a tabletop router. And I did the bearing edges and I did a round over uh, almost all the way in to the inside of the shell. Um, both sides, batter and resonant, and it, it when you tap it with your finger, it has a really clean, pure tone. It tunes really easily, and so don't be afraid of doing that kind of stuff. It's really fun. It's super fun to experiment with that. The Shining Stars, the, this 13-inch floor tom, holy moly, things a force of nature. I just love. I just want to hit it all the time. I just want to hit it all the time. I dream about hitting it. So. Um, only have one crash, uh, the Zildjian medium thin ride, um, has enough wash, you know, I can kind of lay into it as a crash and, uh, I'd like having a second crash on my right, but I'm not doing it with this kit because that's another stand and I just, I wanted to minimize all that and at that that gig, it wasn't even an issue. Matter of fact, I had to actually put some moon gel on the cymbal to keep it, because this thing has a lot of wash. It builds up real big. Um, let's see what else. The uh, the crash cymbal is attached to the hi-hat stand. Not an ideal arrangement, and you know, it can get a little wonky. It's a little, but my foot's on it, so. What could go wrong? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? I can't think of anything. So, final analysis. Happy with the bass drum, happy with the floor tom. I'm going to figure out. I mean, it's okay. But, this thing goes on for days. I can come back in from doing chores, you know, feeding the goats and stuff, and this thing is still going. It's crazy.
It's a dream come true. I, I have to pinch myself. Thank you for watching. <laughs>